Now what? Now what? Oh, did I say Las Vegas? Talana is waiting for me somewhere down here too. Yeah. Right, but then what about up here? I still haven't been up here. Hmm. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. What do you have? Siege Blossling. Cloudburst Blossling. Oh, Purge Water. Purge Water and something else. What is that? Do it. Hmm. I like the Guardian Tripcaster. Sometimes I use it. Adhesive Warrior Bow, not so much. Let's switch it out. Heart Shatter Spike Thrower. Beam Wire Tripcaster. Shock Bolt Caster. Frostbite Warrior Bow. Shock Bolt Blaster? Ice Storm Bolt Blaster. Ooh, three things. Shock, Purge Water, and Frost. Bolt Blaster is the shotgunny one, right? That one? Mmm, the range is kind of um, short too. I kind of want long range stuff, but I can't afford it anyway. No large machine core. Oh well. Do I have this? I do. You can make yourself stand out with that. Purge water, finally. And then cluster bombs. Just explosive Stay damage. Soldier. Okay, I kind of want to switch this one out too. I really don't use it enough, and it's too short. The range is too damn short. You have eyes. Use them. <laughs> Sorry. You can trust a Tanakh when it comes to commerce. I think we should... Yeah, this one we've put off for quite a bit now, so I think we should go to the Bleeding Mark. But for future reference, we should probably follow the suggested level for each quest, right? And I'm aware that we've probably out-leveled a lot of them just by wandering around too much, but it is how it is gonna be. There's not much I can do about it. Even the main quests here. Yeah, I think Poseidon was the highest level quest, so... The ones left are kind of lower level. And even... Oh! Second verse! Oh, it's not done yet completely. <laughs> yeah, I messed up the first objective. Go to the meeting place. I didn't do that properly. But I was going there. I was going there and then they stopped me. So that kind of... Eh, whatever. Yeah. Supplies from the northern village of Bleeding Mark are long overdue. What could be causing the delay? Let's find out. We cannot go there directly. Ooh, okay. Well, this one helps. I hear scary things all around. Get out of here before they get mad. So this is the first quest that we picked up back at Scalding Spear, I believe. Something about a die delivery? Did I pick it up already? Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta... Um, I gotta upgrade my quiver, right? Quiver capacity? Spike holster, no. Resource pouch? Yee. I don't have goose feather. Okay, not yet. Rabbit hide. Food pouch. Hunter arrow quiver. Yes, finally. And then salmon bone. Salmon bone and big horn sheep hide. Okay, so the goats. We gotta get the goats too. And then salmon! Fish I haven't really dabbled with at all. Food pouch? Okay. Prairie dog? See, I told you. I knew we needed. And then trip wire? Sure. Spike holster? I don't... I don't use spikes enough, but why not? We have more than enough. And that's it for now. That's it for now. Keeping in mind that maybe... Yeah, we want to keep in mind that the Hunter Arrow Quiver... We need the Goat and Salmon. I'm not going to make a job though, I'll just leave it alone. There's too much stuff on the map as it is. Oh, 
Nighttime is a little bit scarier when we're in unknown lands. When it's around plain song, it's okay, but here a tad scarier. So we're expecting a village, right? This must be the village Soko was talking about. Looks like the whole place flooded. Oh my god. Maybe from a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. There are a few survivors on that overlook. I should see if they're okay. There's not even a village anymore. Is that a sign that the world is going out of whack or what? Places are flooding, places are out of water, places are out of food. It's just not balanced. Keep the pressure on it. Oh my god, and I've left you all alone this time. Is he alright? Uh, he will be. <sighs> there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. As you heard, we have many missing, but I need to keep watch on these two. I can take a look around. If I find anyone, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. Somebody important to you? I might be able to use my focus to find any survivors. Rescue operation in the middle of the night? Not ideal. The time is also of the essence here. Hey, hey, be quiet. Be quiet, okay? Why are you so upset? Oh, because you found that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You want me to go directly? Oh, but in that ugly... Ugh. Ah. The water feels thick. Polluted. Guess this won't help the water shortage and scalding spear. It's good that you address that, because some people will definitely wonder. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. First, I have to see the ladder you're talking about. I think we're probably starting on the wrong side here. Okay, ladder. People inside. Don't worry. It seems so close by, but they're so busy right now, they don't have time to care about anybody else. Even if they're near. Doesn't look like there's a way to swim into the broken building. I need something to get me over the metal wall and inside. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I was trying to swim inside. Vent. Cannot be open from this side. The beams? Can I reach it from here? Could look around with my focus. I can barely stand on anything, that's the problem. Aloy. Stand here. Because I can see things here, but can we reach them? Apparently that can't be opened on this side. Maybe we can get higher. Oh, what about pushing the tree? It's like our specialty these days. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Now I just need to climb inside to get to the top. Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. There's some lights over there too. Might want to check it out later on.
Not quite the right angling, but we got it done. Here we go. Oh! Oop. Okay. Can we open this vent to begin with? Maybe we can unflood this place, because otherwise that vent is kind of mysterious. Now we have places we can stand on, but I'm inside the building now, and this is the only spot that I can really get a hold of. Can I... Ah, that's a little bit too high for me. A little bit too high. The ladder, I don't think I can do too much about. So it's gotta be the crate. Perfect. Amazing. Fantastic. But this is the wrong building, though. We gotta get over the other side. There's a ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. <laughs> it wouldn't be funny if I fell there. Oh my god. It looks like it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop? What does that even mean? Whoa, whoa! No! Um... I failed that objective. I just, I just fell straight down, okay. I better check on the survivors first. Could this quest have gone another way then? Oh yeah, I actually failed the objective. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see how this plays out then. They accounted for it. Everyone okay? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. As soon as you're out, head for the shore. Natika's waiting on an overlook there. So she survived. Good. We'll join her as soon as we have a way out. Okay. Sit tight, for now. The way we fell down, it kind of feels like a movie plotline or something. Oh, we come in here to rescue people and then we end up stuck ourselves. <laughs> Maybe this will play out even better. Let's see, I'll get things going. How do you get that ladder going down anyway? How are you supposed to do it? Release mechanism jammed. Or maybe you were supposed to fail it. Can you guys climb up? Well, oops. Wait, where am I? Where am I? If I make sort of a staircase here, can you guys climb down? Or maybe I'll just go back up and lower the ladder this time. Do it right. Oh, this one comes down? Okay. I should do it. Okay! You should have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Yeah, I don't think that ladder was gonna help out too much anyway. Hmm. It didn't look like Kentok was with this group. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. Hey, please let me know if there's another way to solve this one. I'm really curious. This is oh, machines. Must have moved in after the flood. Oh. They've all clustered into little groups. Yeah, it's the places with the light. Right? 
Mm, I don't want to. This is bad for you to swim around in. It can't be healthy. Because every time you swim, you're taking little gulps of water too, and this mud. Oh, this mud can't be good. Anybody over here? No, you want me to go over there. The northern wash tower. Some machines. Maybe we'll be okay. Oh, this isn't like an actual river, so it's so annoying every time we fall down. Because there's a lot of debris. Whoa! Good lord. Okay, deal with it. <laughs> oh god! Oh, I can't- I can't do anything in the water. We gotta get back on land. I'm on it! I have a problem. I would appreciate if you just... chilled out for a sec. What is <laughs> putting down random traps? Hold on. There's two snap maws. Two! I think it's too far away for the shock. Oh boy, this is a. Uh, I'm in a pinch. I am in a pinch. Wait. Which boulders? boulders? Break the support beam, crush the machines. You gotta stand here first. That's a jack! Ha! You hit it! Oh man! Even this distance is too long. I can't hit it at all. Oh boy. Okay. That's one. This distance should be okay. Really? Does that not do a spark? I'm hoping so hard for you to break open! Any other boulders around here? Oh, here, here, here! Wait, is that down already? Ooh! The brace shot hurts myself too, I gotta be careful about that. The problem is the land. There's not enough land for me to work with. Good. Oh my god, it's... It's wrecking me! I don't have time to worry about your key components or whatever. Isn't there some gullet thing down there? there. Should be safe at the knock now. Oh my lord. We're coming down. Wow, that was all my berries. Not good. Even a simple snap maw. Two snap maws is enough to take away all my reserves now. <laughs> I really don't want to see the shell snapper again like this. Oh my god. But hey, I I'm glad to hear you guys are alright. 
Not enough land here. Oh. And the tumbling down stuff, I don't think it hit any of the snap mouse. Maybe hit a burrower. Let me thank you properly. Yeah, I just need to refill my berries a little bit. Hold on. They're like, hey, why is she leaving us? Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. More survivors? Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. We'll get moving shortly. Thanks again. But well, we have to stock up a little bit before the next one, just in case if it involves machines, because I am... I am out of everything. Whoa! And fast. Uh, hold on. I'll figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanox to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. Fire gleam. There, more rubble. Igniting that fire gleam should clear it. Ooh. Oh god. Whoa. Am I gonna be okay? Nearly rolled me over just now. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. Yeah, there was a blue thingy here. I thought I saw a blue thingy. Which one's the front? Which one's the back? I can't even... The bottom of... Okay. We're trying to get over there. We're trying to lower the crane down. This ladder is blocked off right now, isn't it? I can't even climb it. The bigger problem is it's so close, I can't even see. Looks like there's something weighing the arm down. There. If I pull out that beam, it should remove the counterweight and lower the arm. We're so desperate, we're trusting thousand-year-old rusting technology. It won't work from this angle. I don't think I can pull the beam from here. I have to get up higher. Get up higher. How's this spot? What's all this stuff anyway? Some kind of construction going on here. Whoa. Oh, damn it. Arm stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. Oh what? Messed up my gliding. I don't know if the Tanakh have ever even seen something so big moving before. Old world technology. It might be kinda scary. Touch those cables. The arms should drop the rest of the way. Ah, uh, you ready, Aloy? You're standing on it. No. Here. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear. <laughs> Aloy. Wow, perfect. Blood of the tin. How'd you manage to do that? Before you go, a word. You're injured people. I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? 
A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the tin. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. We'll head for the shore. Don't wait for us. We didn't find Natika's friend. Not that we know of. That's not a good sign. Can I get up higher? I'm thinking we can glide back. Yeah, we can get a good lay of the land here, just looking like this. Oh my god, the entire village. Something's sparking over there? There could be more survivors that we don't know about. Definitely. And yeah, that's where we gotta go. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. But I didn't see Ken talk among them. I should head back to Natika. I don't know. That's not good. Then we have to search. We will. But you will lie back down and rest. Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakt are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. Sounds like if anyone who would be stubborn enough to stay even knowing there's a storm, it would also be him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to his squad. He's tough as a shell snapper, uh. unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes, and yet he wants me to be tethered to this place, rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with a chief's guard. Chief's guard is like the top MI6 people next to Chief Hikaru, I would assume? You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. What's the Grove? The Memorial Grove. It's an ancient ruin dedicated to the Ten, the bravest of soldiers from the Old World. Chief Hikaru rules from his throne there. Only a handful of soldiers are chosen for the honor of serving in the Chief's Guard. So, why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The chief himself? So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. There's a joke here, something about Banooks and machine oil. <laughs> I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see- Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. 
But then the flood took him towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Gouge. Let's get a couple soldiers posted. Oh! Under it was sparking because of fiery. Fiery's been littering everywhere. Fiery! Can you at least make it into like one nice bundle and not all spread out like this? Oh my god! Fiery! That's a lot of stuff though. I actually wish you would help me find berries. Because I really need berries. I have not. Oh, okay, I got a good bit. More than I thought. The gouge. Gotta go back in there. Oh, I'll just take you. Mmm, no, but we can't get across the waters, right? Oh, never mind. Is this map based on when it wasn't flooded? I think so. Anyway, probably be easier for me to just go like this. Oh lord. In the grand scheme of things, with a water shortage and all that, well that problem's been resolved, thankfully. For the dying supplies, not the biggest of our concerns. I guess that's why nobody's really sent people to um, check up on the bleeding mark. And they were relying on me. Yeah, this was some big old world thing. Cranes. Something big was being built here. That must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe Kentuck got swept in there in the flood. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. A lot of dead burrowers. Here we go. Time to head in. All right. Okay, let's see where this leads. Goes down. When we go down, it feels like we go down without the expectation of knowing oh, how to get back up again. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, no my name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika. She came back. Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The Chief's Guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. Oh no. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No, you're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in from the surface, but not from where I came in. There must be another source, and if I find it and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Oh, Hey, hey, I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> Here 
you're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. There better be a way out. Leave me out. That waterfall must be coming okay. from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Stubborn girl. Just like Natika. Do what you will. We'll get you out of here, Kentok. Don't you worry. Thank God for these random little vents that just happen to be in this little mine. Up, up, up. I love this so much about Horizon. You'll just go to a village for the purposes of, you know, trying to figure out why, hey, some die shipments have been delayed and then you get this whole little human story. Water's coming from that vent. A very human story about the Tika and Ken talk. Dead end. There must be another source. Yeah, we can keep climbing here, maybe, but what's here? Oh, 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 am I not allowed to go in? Can I only drag that out? I can't see the... I can't tell if I'm not allowed to go in or what. I guess I can't. I can't even get that out. Is that one of those ones where it's... Pull out a bowl? Oh. Needs a backup. Try again. I can get out. But he can't walk. Don't even talk about climbing. There's some metal in that wall across the way. Might be able to pull some of it out. This is new. There. I think I can reach the other side now. Can't hook onto that. Wait, what? There's some holograms. Hmm? What am I looking at? Some hologram stuff. That doesn't seem like a simple mine. Oh! No, no, no! Uh, uh, uh. Are you serious? <laughs> All the way to the very bottom. Slowly. Tracks. Okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. If water can flow, there's gotta be something. Let's drop down for now. What's below? Ooh, probably... Oh, it's really dark down there. I'd rather not look. Whoa! Backwards jump. It's getting brighter. Although that might just be the holographic lights. coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this whole place should flood. The raft can talks on should flow right up to the top. I thought you were gonna tell him to swim up. I was gonna say you should probably warn him first.
Hey, 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 wake up! Can't talk! What did you do? I found us a way out. Almost there. Kind of. Hey, stay with me. Tell Natika. You tell her yourself. She said you're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. Oh, his leg. Kento. He wanted me to tell you. The blade answers only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done, I could join the Chief's Guard. But I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Oh, we drained it too. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Tanath Vindicator. Oh, we were so close. I was thinking this could go either way. But when we had the wrapped, I thought we were okay. I thought he'd make it out alive. Oh, that was so close. It's really nice to see a relationship that's not necessarily fueled by like romance and stuff. They seem really close in a commander underling sort of way. They respected and cared for each other. He used to wake us all up before dawn to train. <laughs> Nothing like a practice blow to the ribs to shake off sleep. And I still remember our first battle. I was fresh to the squad. We took down a Ravager in the nearby hills. That was a good fight. He and I fought a lot too. I can't even remember what some of it was about. I'll leave you be. Suddenly very windy here. Have we ever even seen windiness before? Oh my god. My cape is flapping and all that. This one kind of reminded me of, um... Silga, too. The message that we decoded, and also Silga and her brother. Sometimes... We just don't know how much time we have left, and we don't necessarily get to make amends, or say last words, or just even get to tell the people we love that we love them. Oh... But... Even if you don't say it, I like to think that they knew. They knew in their hearts 